Oh, look at us, bro. We're going adventure. Oh, yeah, he alive. Let's get it. Man, get that boy this message. Can't wait to fall and catch him. Yes. Keep calling me around. We ran just under four miles, 3.96. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're feeling amazing today. We're feeling amazing. Yesterday I beat my mile time by a lot. So day one, I did a 7.42 mile. Yesterday was 6.57. So I cut 45 seconds off and I'm stoked. So this is 75 hard day five today. Um, Sorry, I'm burping. Haven't eaten any food, so I got all the gas coming up inside me, you know? But day five, 75 hard, we got 75, 70 days left, but hopefully I'll continue to do these things proceeding after 75 hard. Weight's exactly the same, 208. I haven't really lost any weight, which is fine. You know, I'm eating a lot of food. I'm eating around, you know, 2,800 calories. For me, that's a lot considering my metabolism is pretty fucked from uh, crash dieting repeatedly. Don't do that. But. We have a cool video in store today. I'm not running here where I live. I live in uh, like the Woodland Hills area. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, not that nice. I want to run by the beach. So we're going to head to Santa Monica, run at the beach. We're going to run for 45 minutes, which I did legs yesterday. So hopefully, you know, I feel okay. And then we're going to go eat breakfast in the car, read. I'll show you guys the books that I got. I'll show you the books right now. Um, I have some more that haven't come in yet. And then we're gonna go train at Gold's and maybe I'll bring another meal with me, probably not. You know, I don't really like to eat until the end of the day when I eat a lot of food, but let's get in. Let's get on with the, let's get on with the day. Half a sweet potato, four eggs, and some kimchi. And then I'm gonna grab an orange. That's what we're gonna head to the gym with. I think I'm gonna head to the gym now. I just have to pack up. I have to do a Young LA try on haul for the drop on the fourth, which is, you, this is the third, so you guys aren't gonna even see that. Um, then I have to do, I have to ship some packages and I have to do a couple other things. I really wanna clean my apartment up as well and start getting in like a really clear headspace. I feel like clear headspace, clear space, clear mind, and then I can, you know, be better as a human. All right, guys, just drank my coffee, prize picks cup, you know, code Italian on prospects, but I'm on the phone with my brother. He's doing 43 mo, 43 mo. So it's like he has 43 days until his senior week for uh, college. So he's doing 43 mo. He has his own rules like X amount of calories, X amount of cardio, X amount of training, whatever. But I bought him a book. So here's my brother, right? Mo, say hi. Reading's not in my thing though. Reading is now in your thing. So my brother, <clears throat> I love my brother. He's very sexually frustrated. Yeah, because I get fucking advice from you. What? Because <laughs> I get advice from you. Because he, he gets advice from me. And I am afraid of speaking to women. So I bought a book for the both of us to share. Secrets, I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna let Mo react to it. Secrets of Speed Seduction Mastery. How to master the art and science of getting any woman into your bed in 20 minutes or less by Ross Jeffries. Who the fuck is Ross Jeffries? Someone that can get women in his bed in 20 minutes or less. Picture of Ross. And has mastered it. Ross is ugly as fuck, dog. If this motherfucker can get bitches in his bed, dog, I can get bitches in my bed. What you heard about it? <laughs> Bro, there's no shot. Is this what they were talking about? I'm gonna ask this dude a question. When they're estimating it would be open again? I just talked to a lady, she said like, nobody knows, but they're saying up to a few months, but... Oh, knows. shit. Fuck! Dude, there's a landslide, so we're not going to the beach today. <laughs> Fuck! Dang. And I'm, like, way deep in the mountains. Can I interview you for the news? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Where were you heading, Marco? Um, I'm heading down to Gold's Gym in Venice, Santa Monica area. Was gonna go on a run, jump in the water, go to the beach, work out. Um, was looking forward to the day, but apparently there's a landslide, so it's not gonna happen for a few more months. What was your reaction when you saw the road close thing and you just realized you got to go all the way up? It's the first thing that popped in your mind. <laughs> I'm not allowed to curse. No. <laughs> well, I was thinking, I was thinking hard F. Damn. You know, I got to drive 30 minutes back the other direction in a massive yellow Hummer with butterfly doors. <laughs> Thank uh, you so much. Thank you, bro. Good luck, guys. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Ah! Fuck. I could have just ran at home. Now it's late. My whole day's fucked. I was gonna read my book on the beach. I had it all planned, bro. I was gonna read 10 pages of uh, 48 Laws of Power. Then I was gonna read 10 pages of the Bible. I wanna make my whole personality 
about being, you know, a newfound Christian with like, oh my God, you know, like I hate, I hate people like that. All the bitches on IG and TikTok, they're like, I'm born again, I'm baptized, shut the fuck up. Last week you were pop popping your pussy online for $5. But you know, so I'm not gonna make it my whole personality trait, but a lot of you guys recommended me to, you know, read the Bible, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then 48 Laws of Power, because I wanna learn how to get everything I want in life. My goal, you know, 10 mil, 10 mil by the time I'm 30, put that 10 mil in a, uh, like a high yield account or bond that pays 8% a year. Like I'm cool chilling on 8%, because that's $800,000 a year. I've, I've spoken to many people who are billionaires. I'm very fortunate in my life to have speaking, spoken to very wealthy people who have built very successful businesses. And the number one thing that they say, I ask them all the time, like what's that number? What's the number you shoot for? What's the number that's the most important number you've ever gotten to? And all of them say the same thing. Number one, don't chase a set number, chase a goal, which obviously 10 mil is like a broad goal, but I have a bunch of things I want to accomplish in getting there that's just like a, a monetary number that i'd like to be able to accomplish in my life i feel like that'd be really cool to say um but they always say there is no difference between 10 million dollars a year or having a 10 million dollar net worth and having a hundred million dollar net worth the the difference is literally nothing unless you're trying to buy like yachts or planes the quality of life between 10 mil and 100 mil is like barely different at all which you know that's pretty fucking cool so if i can make 10 mil eight hundred thousand dollars a year in passive income through bonds or you know investment properties whatever it is dog do you know how fucking hard it is to spend eight hundred thousand dollars in a year once you got a house and a car and probably another car and then like three or four girlfriends like how what else could you possibly spend your money on honestly dog honestly bro if i'm being fully fucking honest we might pick this video up tomorrow because I don't want to fucking keep filming the Young LA gym. You guys see the same shit every day from all these different fucking fitness content creators and all this other shit. Bro, no, that shit is boring. Like, if I were you guys, I wouldn't want to wouldn't want to watch. Uh, I wouldn't want to watch the same shit every day. So tomorrow we're gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna eat before I work out. So, got eggs, kimchi, sweet potato. I already showed you guys that. An orange. What do you know? I did not know this, but I looked and there's a trail. Um, the Santa Monica Mountains Conversy, Con Conservancy Zone Parkland. Doesn't say anything about no running, so I just ate breakfast, which was pretty fucking dumb of me now that I'm gonna run, but I guess we're gonna run and hopefully not throw up. I'll, I'll do, I'll film on the iPhone, but it should be pretty nice, man. It should be pretty nice. It's nice out. Should be pretty nice, man. Oh, look at us, bro. We're going adventuring. What the fuck? Is he alive? Yeah. Oh yeah, he alive. Come here, baby. All right, guys. We stopped at Whole Foods on the way home because I want to get some more, you know, organic stuff. Uh, so we're picking up some strawberries. Damn, you save like three dollars per container if you have an Amazon card. Do you have an Amazon card? My daddy does. Local grown tomatoes. I'm gonna get that. We got a cart filled with organic tomatoes, bananas, strawberries. Apples, oranges, now we're gonna get some uh, almond butter, peanut butter thing. Almond butter stock, this is what we gotta do. You. That looks, it looks good, but gross. Bro, this is like the best shit you can get. Like legitimately the best shit you can get. All right guys, the shit you guys wanna buy, grass fed ingredients is just organic butter, Himalayan salt and Himalayan pink salt, so there's no like extra fat in it. This is what I use. It does not, it's 45 calories a tablespoon, which is less than olive oil, but either way, it's whatever. I'm done with all those like cooking sprays. I wanna start using just ghee, beef tallow, clarified butter, shit like that. They also have these like Himalayan pink salt. I've, I've heard good things about this one, but I don't think that's the one that I'm supposed to get. They have this one, the original recipe. I'm pretty sure it's this. This is the one I'm gonna go with. Um, they also have these organic valley clarified butter. That one has lactic acid. We don't want that shit. Actually, I have no idea if lactic acid, I, 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 you know, I don't know. But <laughs> it sounds stay bad. away from this shit, bro. Grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, canola oil. Fuck that shit, dog. All right, this is the honey we're getting. It's called really raw honey. I like getting honeycomb, but it's they don't sell it here. This is what I'm gonna get, really raw honey. They also have these um, Malibu pure raw local honey. This looks really fucking good, actually. That one looks better. 
I think it's, well, this has honeycomb in it, that's why. Oh, okay. Oh, is this from Canada? If this is from Canada, I don't want it, bro. Fuck these Canadians. Oh, God. I'm gonna get this, man, because I think the other one's from Canada. All right, guys. I couldn't open the anchovies in the car because I fucking broke the tab, but I'm not gonna even risk it. I don't wanna <laughs> fucking slice my finger. Oh, that's oily, yeah. All right, let's fucking lift this bitch up. Here's the, here's a little taste test for you guys. I love anchovies. Like, I'm a sick ass human being, dog. I think they're delicious. I just got a drop on my fucking shoe, though. All right, I'm having some apple almond butter that I just got from Whole Foods. So I just kind of dip it in, take a little bit, take a bite. The honey, dip it in, take a bite. That is the best combination. Apples, almond butter, honey. That honey's really good. Holy shit, that honey's really good. Malibu, Malibu honey, sage honey, Malibu honey, <clears throat> pure local raw from uh, Whole Foods, dog. That shit is gas. Give it a shot. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna snack on this shit. You know, do that a bunch of times and uh, then go hit the gym when I finish all my work. All right, guys. Um, I know I'm gonna pick the camera up tomorrow, but I figured I'd show you dinner because it's a little bit different. I added the tomatoes that I got from Whole Foods. A piece of cheese, one egg, big steak, and heirloom tomato. The steak is rare. You guys know I like my shit pretty much dead. But I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow, and we're gonna head to Gold's, film at Gold's, uh, do a run at the beach, hang out, read my book on the beach and shit, and just relax. <laughs> All right, guys, about a train. We got the Rise Sour Punch Green Apple. If you guys want any Code Italian, this one, the pump caps are also good. If you guys don't like taking a lot of pre-workout, pump caps and a Rise Fuel, you're chilling, let's go hit it. We're gonna hit chest, because I did back yesterday. We're doing chest, a little bit of tricep, a little bit of shoulder, depending on how my wrist is feeling, because I did fuck my wrist up, but we're pushing through it. Back, a little bit of biceps, again, depending on how my wrist is feeling. And uh, I did legs, you know, a couple days ago. But uh, we're not gonna film legs, because nobody wants to watch me at legs. That shit's boring as fuck. I've never once watched a YouTube leg video, ever. Nobody wants to see that shit, unless it's a hot chick. All right, 75 hard is all about fixing your mistakes. Oh, you strip it. Thank you, bro. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys saw in that physique update, but my left arm is significantly smaller than my right because I fucking, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know when I used to be with Anaka, when I first moved to Texas, I broke my wrist, like in the, in the uh, warehouse, skateboarding like an idiot. And bro, my shit was fucked for probably like nine weeks and my arm got a lot smaller and then I never focused on using it. So it kind of just grew in the same rate as my right arm, but obviously my right arm was already weeks ahead in not being atrophied. So we're gonna be only training our left bicep on chest days and back days, so like back and biceps, chest and left bicep, shoulders and arms, and then more left bicep. I'm gonna train my left bicep like three to four days a week and see if it helps. Uh, so I guess you guys will see, bro, 75 days, can my arms get closer to size? Which, you know the fucked part? It's like my right arm is like, when I have a pump and I wasn't, you know, natty, it was like a little bit over 18 inches and my left was like 17 and a half. So like three quarters of an inch smaller, but it looked worse because my right arm's more vascular because I have more veins in my right arm. Probably because, bro, I got a quagmire in my shit. Like he was saying, <laughs> I got to fucking start beating it with my left arm. Too bad I don't beat off, bro. I got to beat someone else off. I got to finger chicks yeah. with my left arm. That's what I got to do because I'm not, I'm not about that whole, I don't, yeah, you know, I don't be touching dudes like that. 
So, and I also don't be touching women like that because I'm afraid of women. Uh, I feel like James trying to arm wrestle right now. Fuck. He's holding out till marriage. Uh, <laughs> bro, yeah, I'm holding my left arm out till marriage. All right, guys. You know we're at Gold's. That means we got to get in the acai bowl. They are super food fresh, handcrafted, vegan, organic, made to order. All of it, bro, organic. So I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick something. I'm going to pick something. All right, guys. This is what we're going with. Pattaya. So dragon fruit, pineapple, mango, strawberry. I'm gonna add mango and almond butter on top. So that's what we're rocking with today. Bro, look at those Super 73 bites. Here's the bowl. Mango, almond butter, banana, strawberry, kiwi, coconut flakes, chia seeds, a little bit of granola, and uh, pataya on the bottom. It's like dragon fruit. That looks good, bro. We're about to go on our run after this. The weather has turned to shit. Absolute dookie. Over there, it's nice. I think that's where the beach is. But I'm cold, bro. I'm like chilly. Like, I put shorts on and I was like, yeah, leg day, baby. I'm not training legs, but <laughs> oh, I was like, I'm gonna show off my little my little legs, you know, let them run. Right now it's Fuck, cold. No, I was like, I'm gonna take my shirt off. You know, my acne's getting a lot better. Like, bro, even from day one, like, dropped, like, a lot. Like, it looks a lot better. And I'm happy about it. So I'm like, oh, I'll get some sun. I'll go outside and get some sun, get a tan. It's even better for your skin. No. My fucking nipples would could cut glass right now. All right, guys. We drove to the beach. Gonna eat the rest of the bowl. I brought my books with me. I brought the Bible with me. And I brought 48 Laws of Power. We are at the beach right now. Looks pretty nice outside here. Cannot complain. Looks pretty nice outside over here. So uh, I'm just gonna sit. Maybe I'll sit outside if it's not freezing cold, um, or I'll sit in the car with like the door open, and uh, and read before we go on a run. Well, I would digest this. So make sure you guys are reading your books. That's one of the most important parts. I know it sounds ass. Like nobody wants to fucking read. Trust me. I don't want to fucking read either. But it will. It will help you. I feel like you can definitely notice a difference when you're reading things of substance and quality and things that will help you improve, like educational books or uh, things that help you with your belief system. So, uh, bro, I keep burping. I'm sorry, I'm always burping on you guys. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna chill at the beach, read a book, and then go on a run. These houses are fucking beautiful. The mountains all the way down there. Cannot complain, man. Cannot complain. I want a house like this one day. This is like my goal. A house like this, like the new modern. Resuming workout. Balcony. Balcony's over here. This is the type of house that I strive to have one day. It does not have to be in California. I would not want to live in California other than the weather. Politics here are ass, bro. I would never want to. Minimum wage is going up. Gas prices are going up. Inflation, bro, yeah. He works at Buffalo Wild Wings, dog. And wing prices are going up. That's when you know it's bad. When Joe Biden makes fucking wing prices go up, you know we're fucked. So, probably Florida. I'd love to live in Miami, but they just fucking ban prize picks. So it's like, I don't want to live in a place where you can't play prize picks. I love that shit. But, I don't know. I'm getting back on the run. This is like my 30 second to a minute break. We're going to keep going. All right, guys, we finished the run. We ran just under four miles, 3.96. We'll just call it four. 564 calories, 47 and a half minutes. We walked, ran, walked, ran, ran, walked, ran, walked, all that shit. I have legitimately developed shin splints. Holy shit. It like hurts to touch right above where my sock sits. And it's like, oh, like right here right there is fucking swollen i gotta go i gotta go to the young la gym and fucking hop in the ice bath maybe we'll do that bro i've, I've never done that before you down I, I think i've maybe did an ice bath twice in college like maybe twice i don't think i ever have i did one forcefully they forced us all when we were pledging the fucking fraternity they uh threw a hundred pennies in the pool in like the middle of december in florida so like the water was probably 45 degrees and we all jumped in so like that's fucking freezing like that's colder than most cold plunges are dog i remember like i got my like 
10 pennies fast as fuck because I used to swim and shit, so I just fucking held my breath, <laughs> grabbed them all. Bro, some kids were in there because I was, well, the more pennies there are, the more you have to grab them. Once everyone starts to get pennies, dog, there were kids in there trying to get 10 pennies for like 35 minutes. Like they came <laughs> out, they probably never saw their penis again. But yeah, man, don't, don't, don't pledge your fraternity. That shit's whack. All right, we were stuck in traffic forever. Peeled my citrus sumo looking crazy orange thingy. Oh, I gotta get in. Oh, gotta get in. Sheesh. We made it. We made it in. I cut it went off. That's how you drive in Jersey. You just go to the front of the line and then go in. So, We've uh, been stuck in traffic for about, it will be two hours when we get home. Two hours. We left Santa Monica at three. It is 4.04 .04 and we will not be home till 4.40. Luckily, I brought a meal. So I have half an avocado, kimchi, sweet potato, and two eggs. This was gonna be my meal after the gym. Thank God I got that fucking fruit bowl. So yeah, I'm just gonna fucking crush this while I drive, I guess, man. Cyber truck. Oh, that fucking car got in the way, there you go. Honest opinions, bro. How do we feel about the cyber truck? I'm not saying I'd get one, but it's the only Tesla I would ever own. I think Tesla's, bro, I own Tesla stock. I'm a huge Tesla stock fan. You'll not catch me buying one of them if it's not a fucking Cybertruck. Sitting at the, like, chargers, diddly daddling on your fucking phone is sus. You're sitting there like, oh, I gotta wait for my phone, my, my phone to charge and my, my Tesla. Like, bro, you have an electric scooter. You got one of those fucking skateboards with the, with the motors. You got a Segway, bro. You got like one of those little Segway, Swagway, what are they called? Hoverboards. Hoverboards. A Tesla, bro. If you drive a Tesla, you just, you have a, a seatable hoverboard. <laughs> Wild. 